first stop. Supercharging. We got some fucking chicken from Eddie's World. Eddie's World's over there. It's got a ton of candy and just like everything. Crazy inside, I'm starving. So, chicken tenders it is. We're like, I don't know. We still got a ways to go. We left really late. Made it to the third charging station. There's a cat over here, a little friendly white cat. There's another one creeping around. So we're in a very strange area. It's really loud, the highway I could get in the car. But the good thing is, is there's a bunch of RVs parked over here. And I really just feel like, I really just feel like I could just sleep here. So I'm gonna set up the bed while the car charges. Four kitten squad. We are in, I can't really tell, but we are in the Tesla, sleeping. I couldn't get the privacy screen to work, so there's no privacy screen, but I don't really care about that. Yeah, we're in camp mode, dog. Camping, see in the morning, right next to the highway. Plenty of lights, that's what they make face masks for. You can't see me, you probably can barely hear me. AC blowing, camp mode, 1.36 in the morning, I gotta go to bed. <sighs> <sighs> Mm, mm, mm. There's a Tesla charger over there. That's where we charge. This is where we slept. It's actually not that bad, to be honest. I mean, oh. <sighs> I just woke up. It's uh, 6 a.m. I didn't really actually fall asleep until probably till like 2, so we only slept like 4 hours probably. But, slept pretty good. The only thing that I didn't sleep well because of was I had the AC up way too high because I fucking weirdo it's really cold in here but that's my own stupid fault and i could have woke up and turned it off at any time but i woke up and it's fucking freezing in here like my phone is ice cold the car lost like 20 miles not really shit yeah not bad i'm not mad i mean if you're in a if you're in a clutch situation and you need to sleep in your car this is the way to do it it's really not bad in all this room look enough room for another right here Whew. All right, let's get out of here. This AC is gonna be super loud. I thought we were gonna have to check out of this room. Here, let's turn it down for a sec. All right, let's just hope it's not too loud. Burrito, we have checked in to the hotel. I can't remember what it's called. It's literally at the mouth of Chinatown. Um, we're about to go smoke a joint. We went to the dispensary down the street. We're gonna walk around for a minute. We're gonna come back and draw. Which is the only reason I'm really staying in the hotel tonight is because I have a lot of work to do. I want to get a real good night's sleep and then get up and bang again tomorrow. And then we also have vegetables, so day one SF. Another hotel. This is the proper. This was on points. This place is much nicer than last night's room. Last night's room was okay, but this room, I mean, really, it really shows you what interesting lighting, just some, you know, 
some graphics, some art. We'll do for our room, but this room's pretty nice. I'm not mad at it. The parking situation is crazy. The neighborhood's wild. We're gonna go out here and get some food. We've been tattooing. San Francisco's been great. Food is amazing. I've actually had little to very, almost no time to actually eat. So, uh, I'm gonna go get some food right now. I'm gonna walk around, smoke a joint, get some food. Tattooing again tomorrow. Basically tattooing every day we're here. I love this city. It is crazy. And it's a crazy, crazy city. And it is alive and it is nuts. But I love it. It is pretty early, it's like eight o'clock. My favorite breakfast place, maybe in the world, well, my favorite breakfast sandwich is the Monte Cristo at Mama's. Every time in San Francisco, I have to go. Always a line outside. We're gonna try to go this morning before our appointment. So, I got my car coming from Valet. We're gonna hop in, we're gonna go a mile and a half, and we're gonna see what the line is looking like, and then we're back to work. Mama's was incredible, always incredible. There was no line, which is actually like really fucking crazy because there's always a line. For years I've come there, and you could, there's a supreme line every day. Day I almost didn't even go because I was like, yo, it's Sunday. There's gonna be a crazy, crazy, crazy line. No line, walked right in, dope. So there's a line now. We got there at perfect time. So we're just gonna go uh, chill by the water and draw, just hang out. I don't feel like going back to the hotel, so we're gonna go down this way, down some hills, you know, San Francisco, craziest place on earth. Tattooing. We went and walked to Mission. We went to La Taquira, which is the most fire. We also went and got cookies. That's what's up. Now, show us some love, man. You gonna get that one first time? <laughs> That's what right. we're known for. What is this? You one? have others that come up with a cookie we are the first this to is, ever do a cookies and cream. This is what I was told to get. We're the first to ever do it. Thank you. My man. Thank you. Have a good cookie right there. Tacos in the car. We gotta figure out the next move. All right, we are back at the supercharger in San Francisco. Uh, we got plenty of miles. I just wanted to charge up. 10 o'clock at night. I don't know how well you can see. You can see. Um, so I don't know what. I'm good. Well, I do know. So basically, the last two nights we've spent in hotels. So the first night was not the fanciest hotel, but it's still dog. After parking in San Francisco, which was like sixty dollars for the night, uh, the room, which after tax and everything, comes to like two hundred bucks. It's like three hundred bucks for one night. The place I stayed last night, the proper, which is in the middle of the Tenderloin, which is so crazy, such a crazy. It's so so crazy, San Francisco. I love this place. I've loved this place since I was a kid. I ran away from home basically when I was 16. I got on a train, I came to San Francisco, I spent the summer here, and pretty much have been in love with the place ever since. And part of what I'm in love with is how crazy it is, and um, I mean, some of the shit is mad depressing, but it's just like such a such a crazy eclectic city. Uh, and then so last night, yeah, we stayed in the proper, which is a nice hotel, it's pretty cool. It was a great room, but that was on points. But dude, that shit's 350 a night. So if I had paid to stay there with parking, it would have been over 400 bucks. So it's already 1030. I'm probably just gonna sleep in the Tesla tonight. The real challenge of sleeping in the car is not the sleeping part, but in San Francisco, there's literally nowhere you can go. It is illegal to sleep in your car in San Francisco, which is very stupid and also, well, it's not really stupid, but it's not enforced because there's literally homeless encampments all over SF. 
but I gotta try and find a place to go where I can kind of like low key sleep, which like RV parks and shit like that works. Walmart and stuff like that works too, but there's not even a Walmart in San Francisco. So, um, and you know, there's a lot of homeless, a lot of displaced, a lot of people here are actually sleeping in the streets and their cars. I go to these hotel rooms and I just look through my phone and go to sleep. I don't need it. I don't need to go spend the extra two, 300 bucks just to sleep. We got a gym membership that we can go in the morning, take a shower and um, yeah. I think that's pretty much the plan. We gotta charge up, get the fuck out of here. Tesla's really not bad to sleep in. I mean, the night, other night was fine. So I'd really like to see what it's like without me being exhausted, because I'm not crazy exhausted. I'm gonna smoke a joint, and then I'm gonna try to pass out, but it should be interesting. I'll report back, we'll see what happens. Last day in SF tomorrow, and we're up to San Jose on Tuesday. Here we are in camp mode. We're over by uh, Ocean Beach. I don't know, it's pretty low key over here. There's definitely someone sleeping in <laughs> that rob four right there as well <laughs> so i feel pretty safe all right it's 7 a.m we survived the night <sighs> we survived it's okay it was a little weird i guess there's like a little noise here and there but i mean it's chill i'm fine pretty comfortable just need to pee sleeping in the chest is not bad it's really nice All right, so we got done sleeping in the car. I just got freshened up. Honestly, I, last night I wanted to sleep in my car just to see, like just to kind of like experience it in San Francisco. It's a lot different at a truck stop. At a truck stop, it's kind of expected, like all oh, this dude's traveling, but I, this whole street right here by South Beach, mad people sleeping in their cars. There's a big bathroom right here that looks like it's cleaned every single morning. Probably has to be. It's just crazy. Like there's tons of people just sleeping in their cars. And then there's tons of people living in the street and there's tents everywhere. And it's just like perception. Like you can let your perception get you into the street and be comfortable with living like that. You can let your perception get you to the point where you can't be anywhere that's not a five-star hotel. And what I'm trying to say is like somewhere in the middle there is like probably where we should be. Be, you know not too much but also not letting things fall apart I'm just really rambling I'm just saying that like the last few days in San Francisco has really just been a lot about perception and you know me coming here when I was 16 I mean literally I'm on the same block a tattoo shop the same block that I hung out when I was a kid when I came here I ran away to skateboard and when I came here, it changed my perception of life. You know, I, I was in San Francisco skateboarding around all this culture and craziness. And then, you know, two days later, I was back in a high school in North Carolina sitting there learning about who knows what. So probably get a hotel tonight. I don't, again, I'm not trying to like live in my car, but I am trying to prove to myself that if I need to, I can do it. And then I don't have to be a bougie bitch. I don't have to, like, you don't have to stay in a hotel. Yo, you want to sleep for four hours, five hours? Like, you're not going to use the TV, the continental breakfast, the bar, the re I don't use anything. I literally go upstairs and go to bed and I pay all this money to do it. My Tesla car bed was just fine. I mean, really. It's just fine. All right, I guess we're gonna try and find some breakfast. It's 8 a.m. I don't know where we're gonna go. We're just gonna, gonna go kick it and find out, see what's up. We're out here, it's a foggy day. That's why I got the jacket on, it's nice and cold. It's 57 this morning.
Good morning. Uh, we slept for like five hours. It's still pretty dark, but I'm gonna get back on the road. Well, this trip has been, uh, whew, it's been pretty ridiculous. Life happens fast. Life 